Ah, there you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an, uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Barbarico for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. Silvio Barbarigo. Raised by wealthy merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. From then on, Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard, while Silvio escorts the parents to the roof. He toasts the family, then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. had better calm all trade through the Aegean for now. Send me your amici. Does this amuse you? Salute. Weapons of the finest grade. Here for your perusal. <laughs> Quality one, you have 
Get off me! The price of perfection is not measured in coin. Please, help. Please, help. Must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stags attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. About goddamn time! I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I'm Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! All right, Bus this way. Break! Cross! Let's see what you can do! <laughs> <laughs> Follow my area. We should go. Agree. There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No. Just practical. 
Even that they outnumber us a hundred to one. As you wish, Bella Mia. Watch for the large one. Dante is called. Most of Silvio's men are useless, but that one's trouble. Ah, sweet freedom. How I have missed you. Silvio has set these men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Yeah. Ah. Finally, things get interesting! Ah. What fun this will be! Ah. Ah. Let's see what you can do! Finally, things get interesting! Ah. Let's see what you can do! What? I'm sorry. Falling asleep. Let's go. If you value your life, you'll stand down. Never! What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them! Ah! What fun this will be! Bianca, I hope she is unharmed. Bianca! Bianca! Is everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place. I'm poor Bianca. If something's happened to her... Aha! Oh, my darling. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Charmed. So, I know your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two, three of us, to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot in good conscience leave them behind. In Daisy, I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. Many thanks for the aid, friend. 
We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. Segue me. A levy will be imposed upon all importation of goods deemed non-essential. With you, friend. Only lead the way. Queen, let's do it. Maybe I'll let you. Maybe not. Leave me alone! I swear! 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 I the Barbarigo! Keep it easy. 
Salute, Ezio. Welcome back. And well done. My host is restored to its former glory. Now Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Exactly. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. Andiamo. here for my signal as you wish all right this way
your ground here. Consider it done. Segui me. What is the matter with you, Stronzo? There he is, Raju! Probably You won't get away this time. Where your weight. Send word when it's time to strike. Ah, there you are. Is it done? Yes, all your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district and 
fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will. Bartolomeo needs my help. Must return to l'arsenale. Salute Ezio! Care for some company? By all means! to his master. My men and I will remain here and keep the guards from giving chase. Hurry! They're going to leave without us! What's he? No way. 
way you'll get through here. I see him! We'll get him, don't worry. What's happened here? Why the boats? I thought you saw the doge seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want... They want... Non temete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescant in pace. Well done, Ezio. Silvio is defeated, and the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace e tranquillità. We should celebrate this victory! I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo, but I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. Ezio. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet? Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. 
Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine he was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. Here comes the Giovane Signore, whose prowess is a supreme. It has been reported by the San Pellegrino that the merchant must <laughs> Pezzo di Dio! I'll enjoy it. Uh. Hey! What game are you playing? <laughs> Taking it. yours.
recent festival violence on Polo, the Doge has decreed that the manufacture of Rocky Dam. Some new moves? I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my screen. Cosa non ti farete, loro mio? Maestro awaits. He will not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here? That changes things. If I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier, they'll lead me right to the Filio di Putana. Yes, sir. 
This is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. of your pathetic go anatomy would you like to lose and rust. If you wander Future. off again, then we go kill sinking in. Go! Once more you'll be first. Capito? A will be imposed to help fund the cost of maintaining the arsenal. Certain exemptions apply. Consult the full decree to see if you are eligible. Attenzione! Following the recent festival fire in San Paolo, the Doji has decreed that the manufacturer of You were not followed. Absolutely. Everything went perfectly. We have followed your orders exactly as specified. The mission to Cyprus was... <gasps> Ezio, it's been some time. Rodrigo. So, where is he? <laughs> Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. You claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The Prophet is already here. I am the Prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. all you have. Where is the rest of your people? What people? 
really have no idea, do you? Guards! Don't worry, Nepote. You are not alone. Pompey? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. We? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Bodra leave that box. He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora! What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your Prophet. He never showed up. No? But you did. What? A prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? Paola. Volpe, it's true, Nipote. We have all been guiding you for years. 
teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our prize, but there is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. Lashea waka umutlak bel kulun munkin. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember... Nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember... Everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, Nothing is true. true. Everything, Everything is, is permitted. permitted. It is time, Ezio. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? No! I need to go back. Right now. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Sean? Of course. How could I have forgotten? You want to share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492. Which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful man in Italy. I always wanted to visit the Vatican. Well, your luck's in, Desmond. Happy days. Because that's exactly where you're going. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does it do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean, the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as... a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the Apple. Like Eve's Apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skill you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. 
You must come visit me there.